focus. There we go. Look my sight, guys. Hey, everyone. What's up? Happy Friday. TGIF. Can you guys hear me? I'm kind of talking a little bit softer because I am at a cafe slash restaurant sort of thing. Hi! Hope you guys are having a really amazing Friday. So I'm here, well, if you're new to my scopes, happy Friday! Oh my gosh, the energy is so good. You guys are so good. Um, so yeah, if you're new to my scopes, my name's Alicia and I am a coach for women who want to zen the shit out of their lives. And I'm here in Periscope. Hey! Um, Monday through Friday at 1.08 p.m. Eastern. And we talk about things that help you do this. Zen it out, babe. Zen it out. Hello to you. Um, yeah, so I said a little prayer before I got on here and I said, what should I talk about today that the, the people who are going to be tuning in need to hear, that you guys need to hear? And so I was thinking about you know, perfectionism. Who in here is a perfectionist? <laughs> hey, you guys are so nice. Again, can you guys hear me okay? I am talking a little quiet because my cold as well. Yeah, I'm good to go. I am good to go. Lots of water. Um, but yeah, okay, so perfectionism. I'm going to tell you a story. I don't remember how long ago it was. It was a while ago that I... Okay, okay, good, thank you. Because I didn't know I'm talking a lot quieter. Try to be, sometimes it's not good, for sure. Um, but this is a few years ago. Someone had asked me, like I said something, I can't remember what I said, but they asked me and they were like, um, oh, so you're a perfectionist. And I'm like, oh, I am not a perfectionist. But then I realize, I'm like, okay, if I have to deny that much that I am a perfectionist, then you most definitely are. So maybe you already know that you are, or maybe you're kind of in denial about it. I was in the latter of the group. But once I kind of faced that I was, in fact, and still am a perfectionist, then it was easier to start to work on what to do instead. So my biggest thing with being able to combat this is really learning how to be your own best friend and this starts with the way that you talk to yourself and the way that you truly do treat yourself because I've noticed that when I was when I am I still tend to do this and like in that really perfectionist like mindset I'm talking really horribly to myself and putting all these unrealistic expectations on myself that I'm doing to me and maybe you can relate to this right and so when that happens, I, I like to remind myself, like, okay, if my best friend was saying these things to me, what would I say to her? And that's what then I say to myself. Does that make sense? So that's what I want you to do, too. Like, when you're seeing that you're being really, really hard on yourself, and you expect all of these things to be super perfect, and when it's not, like, you just get even worse and more and more down on yourself, Start to talk to yourself truly in your mind like you would your best friend and just ask yourself like, okay, if my best friend said these things to me, what would I say to him or her? Okay, and I can almost guarantee you that it would not be the things that you were saying to yourself. So when you can start to like take that shift of actually talking to yourself like you are your best friend, because really that's like the end goal. Oh, I just read this really amazing article written by Chris Carr. Who in here is a Chris Carr fan? Hearts for Chris Carr. She had this really amazing um, blog post all about like what your purpose is. And she was saying that your purpose isn't something that's external. Like it's, it's not even necessarily like, you know, I'll use me as an example to, you know, spread health and well-being and happiness to other people and teach them how to do it. It's to learn how to be okay with yourself and your own soul. Everyone must see someone must perfection. You're every, I'm sorry, I don't see what that. Can you repeat that again? What's your question? I might be able to help you. Um, but yeah, so she was saying like, it's, it's your job 
and your purpose is to be like really, really great with yourself and have a, a higher level of consciousness and connection with your soul. And then when you do that, you're spreading more love and light around you. And so this relates to treating yourself like your best friend by combating perfectionism because when you're feeling better and you're feeling uh, like you're um, vibing at a higher level, right, because you're treating yourself in a much better way, then you're automatically helping everyone around you and just helping spread more light in general. And so that is you connecting to your truth and your power and what your purpose is in life. So that's some pretty deep stuff, but that's what I was just thinking about a little bit ago. And um, yeah, so hopefully someone needs to see this. How have you got in contact with your soul, Alicia? All the things that I teach you guys. Um, getting quiet. Getting quiet. Meditating. Journaling. A lot of self-reflection. Being an observer of, of yourself. Being an observer of how you speak to yourself. Of, of what your thoughts are. Okay? And then when you can see what it is you're doing and how you're speaking and what you're thinking, then you feel more connected to that. You, you're more connected to yourself and then you're able to to change that story around and then you feel more connected to yourself so ultimately it's it's getting silent it's getting still and so, so you can do that in your yoga practice meditation is huge taking the time to get quiet because there is no way that you're going to be able to truly connect to you when you're always 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 doing stuff you know when you're always running and you're always and I get it, I do it too. That's why it's so important that you take a little bit of time each day in stillness to really reflect. And so I actually teach you how to do all these things in a way that's helped me really connect to my soul in my, um, my challenge on my website. It's a seven day challenge. And I give you the seven different tools that have really helped me to do that. And it's not like once you know you figure it out, you have it, but that's, that's the process that you do over and over and over again and each time you get a little bit closer, a little bit closer, a little bit closer to yourself. And sometimes you get really far away again and then you have to come back in, you know? So that's the message for today, right? Um, I think it's okay if, if you are a perfectionist. I am, I am definitely one. Um, but it's what you do with that, you know? It's, it's how you work with it. Instead of trying to fight it, work with it and uh, yeah, treat yourself like your best friend. It's all about how you speak to yourself. Major, major, major. Like, it's okay. Cut yourself some slack, right? Be gentle with yourself. And um, just be kind to you. Like you would just like your best friend. And then when you do that, I promise you, things will be better. <laughs> A lot better. So, yeah. Hope you guys are having a great day. What are you up to this weekend? Um, I'm going to see Gabrielle speak in New York City. It's going to be really great. I'm really excited for it. I might be able to periscope and show you guys um, the event. If you're interested, that'd be really cool. Um, sailing, oh, how fun. Yeah, it's going to be really great. Is anyone here um, living in Ohio? Is anyone local? You're working. Oh, sending you love, Jennifer. Yeah. Cool. Um, well, if you are, I am teaching a workshop before I leave for New York tomorrow. I'm teaching a soulful clean eating workshop. I'm actually um, working on it right now. So if you want to learn how to, you know, eat in a way that's like really effortless and easy and that connects to your soul, come and join me. We still have some spots open. It's on um, Saturday from 12.30 to 2. And if you're interested in that, I'll be at the desk. Yay, Piper! Maybe you can pop in. But if you're interested in this, I'm actually going to do, be doing this online um, next Thursday. So, on, so come to my website and on my latest blog post, you can sign up for that, um, that workshop. And then you have lifetime access to it. It's going to be it's going to be really good. And it comes with an ebook. So who's coming? We already have a lot of people signed up. I'm really excited for it. It's going to be good. But yeah, thanks guys for coming today. I hope you all have a beautiful Friday. And um, yeah, that's all I got today. Be your own best friend. Love you guys so much. And uh, if you want to share this with someone, or like it follows, if you think that this could help someone else, feel free to share it. I would love that. Love you guys. Thanks again. And I'll be back regularly next Monday. 
And like I said, I might be able to pop in um, this weekend in NY. Okay, peace and love. Bye.